poquito, pero nada que vale. Te levanté. How did my shoes get out of here? I didn't even put them out here. Whatever. What's up, guys? There it is. It's so black, 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 black on black. Black, my ducks are black. Of course, my life matters to me, but not just mine. Everyone's. Don't fear failure. It's all as true today as when you were 12. Handle that business. Keep your dreams intact. California! What's up? What came out today? Marvel Lions? Oh, that's that's tonight. That's tonight. You can still pre-order it. Final is issue six. So what was the line for earlier today? I don't give a fuck about that shit. God damn it. <laughs> I thought, I, was, I thought one of the fucking games came out today. Alright, never mind. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy FB Aftermath. Yo, so today is the topic of four best bench exercises to give you a great bench. Alright, now I know I like to bench. I like to bench a lot. I like to bench and I like to deadlift. I used to like to squat, but I kind of pushed away from squat and just trained my legs more explosively and athletic. But anyways, the first exercise of these four exercises that I'm going to give you are the rack presses. Now the rack press can be done in multiple ways. You see me, I'm at my 90 degrees slightly below as you see my elbows, elbows point towards the ground. Um, that's where I'm pressing from, which is that stop position right about where the chest is. And it really helps build starting strength from the bottom all right, to really drive that barbell up now one thing you can do with this is have the racks at certain pinpoints to where it's most difficult for you in the bench so if locking out is your problem you could have the the um, pinpoints a little bit higher right hit those triceps a little bit more at a higher position and that's what I love about this movement and there's no bounce no bounce at all which will definitely help you with strength gains now this is something i've been doing for years I, I don't find i don't call it a secret or anything but i feel like a lot of people don't know about it so this is something you should definitely add in to the arsenal of bench exercises and also it builds great triceps great triceps are a good key when it comes to benching when you see big benchers they have great triceps now i got thick meaty triceps they're not the most defined triceps you'll see, but they're big, strong triceps that helps me um, bench. And my grip is pretty close. I don't have the normal bencher's wide grip to shorten the range of motion. I really don't care for that. I'd rather be more in and compact um, due to helping my shoulder from being injured. And I think that's why I don't have any shoulder injuries from benching or anything, period. Um, just put all the focus on those triceps, keep everything in and tight, make sure you squeeze in that bar, bringing those elbows in towards the body and really pushing out hard. Now, when I do this, I usually do around five sets, um, you know, warm up set, start with, you know, this is how I do things, you know, 225, 315, 405, work my way up to like, a, almost sometimes a single rep, um, but majority of the time when I'm doing rack presses, I work all the way down to uh, three reps three rep max now you see right now is 455 that I'm doing from the uh, rack press and Actually after this day, I pushed 500 pounds like nothing and like I said I'm only 230 pounds doing this amount of weight and this is something you you could really pull off to add you know hella extra 25 50 pounds within a year uh, it, I'm pretty sure shorter but it depends how often you add this into your routine. Next up is dips. Now dips can be done weighted, unweighted, but dips need to be done. Why? Because once again, the triceps, you know, working a little bit of the lower chest, but this will definitely help with that lockout position of the bench. Now pay attention to the exercises today and how I'm breaking down the movements of the bench, right? 
you're working all types of um what is it damn range ranges in the bench and that's what you have to do to succeed in benching more if you're constantly just benching just to bench more that you, you got to work on the accessory things you got to work on the the things that are outside of the box well not necessarily outside of the box but some things you probably don't do enough i do the dips with high reps and with low reps of course you know right now you see me doing no uh no weights uh sets of 15 right 12 to 15 reps working on a little bit of endurance getting that lockout in squeezing those triceps really pushing myself up and once again this will help with that lockout and I've already started the workout working from the bottom end of the bench and then we just continue to move our way up um, don't push off tricep training strong heavy tricep training is definitely crucial for having a big bench I know a lot of you just kind of say, oh, well, my body's not built for it. No, you can make it happen. You can make it happen. All right. Now, as we move on, this is something I know a lot of you do not do enough. Unilateral floor presses with the dumbbells, working the dumbbells in a strength angle. I do it from the floor. It protects that shoulder. It allows me to continually use heavy weights in the exercise without putting too much pressure on my front delt. Now this is something I actually got four years ago from my uh, football training with uh, Jets and all that stuff and I've been using it ever since and I must say it has been super super beneficial for my unilateral strength, my bench, everything all together. Healthy shoulder, joints, period. So if you're having shoulder problems and you want to train you know chest try this out because like i said it shortens that range of motion keeps you in a safe zone that way you're not stretching that chest out a little bit too much that could possibly put you in a position where you might tear a muscle this takes that away and it's something that will really help you all right uh, like i said i've been doing this for years and you can do this anywhere sometimes i'll even hell i'll even go up to almost 200 pound dumbbells and it still feels good you know doing 200 pound dumbbells on a regular bench as you have the bench the bench is is actually shorter than your width right so there's so much open area on the outsides for your arms just to fall down and fall out that you could be injured so when i go heavy on dumbbells i honestly prefer to do them from a floor so you see me doing 115s right now this is actually the highest dumbbell in the gym so this really couldn't do much more um, than that but i actually would have went to 150s and with these you want to do from 6 to 12 reps right i prefer actually 6 to 8 reps sometimes 3 when i'm in that 150 to 200 pound dumbbell um, weight but that six to eight is around the the weight you should be at here we're gonna do skull crushers skull crushers once again triceps really hammering it down I love doing um, a lot of tricep exercises to be honest I'm a tricep main person over bicep bicep training actually bores me but tricep training just feels so good uh, I'm working once more on extension. You really gotta focus on getting that slight stretch in the triceps at the bottom motion of doing the skull crushers and then really just pumping out that weight. Skull crushers can be um, extended with the range of motion, honestly, bringing a little bit of the lats in as well. It's almost like a dumbbell pullover. Um, and then you come into the skull crusher and I see You'll see I'll do that sometimes. I don't think I did it in this video, but for another video, I'll show you guys how to do that. And you know, lat thickness is important for benching, which which I didn't get into for this workout. This was mainly just to focus on uh, benching and benching accessories and hitting the triceps really hard. But you wanna build that tricep strength and that chest strength as equally. And I know a lot of beginners in this video that are watching you might not see that you know but please hit these exercises I promise you they will work I promise you you will see progress all right now back to the rest of the video just finished the workout 
about to head to GameStop right now, pick up my statues and shit. And then Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 comes out, but only for Switch, which sucks. I wish it was more for like PS4 or Xbox, which may come out later some other year. So like next year or whatever, which should be the main thing. But I'm gonna do this, got my car washed. Uh, and then I got some other shit to do today. I'm not really sure, but we'll figure it out. So I got an Emma Frost, this babe loves Emma Frost. And then I got none other than Bakugo. GameStop be having some dope ass figures, yo. For real. Got some keto protein. We're gonna try this out. Babe's doing keto, so got her some shit. I might try it out as well. Just got the car washed. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. I'm sorry, nobody care about that fucking S, so whack ass nigga. Nah, but anyways. Whew, go ahead to the house. Have to get the car cleaned inside out. So it's just like some photo shoot. Um, so you already know what it is. Gotta keep it clean. Gotta keep it nice. Go home and smoke some hookah. Game. Yo, by the way, yo. So I switched to system on Apex Legends. And I've been fucking getting like five kill games like consistently. And whereas PC, I was getting like one or two kills. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, of course, I've been playing system all my life. And. You know, I'm more comfortable, so I go for, like, riskier shit. And usually me going for the riskier shit is really, like, working in my favor. So, like, I'm, 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 I'm fucking with Apex on, on PS4. All right? So, add me. Teron42 Beckham, if y'all want to play. Fill in my Twitch streams at uh, twitch.tv slash FB Aftermath. Link will be in the description. Uh, sub, if you have Amazon Prime, you can sub to my channel for absolutely free. So, definitely do that. Um, help your brother out. Giveaways are on the third of on the third Monday each month, and uh, that's all there is to it. Cool. Oh, look what came in! Look what came in! We got the low bed in this joint. You already know what it is. Your boy's about to get high supreme, high quality, high H2O, high hydration, high, high, high everlasting, high efficiency sleep, okay? Get your low on, your low. Love united, love, love. On, on, uh, with the tigress. Look at the tiger. look, look, that's me. That's me with the crammer, look, look. Don't we look alike, don't we look alike? This was meant for me, all right? Check it out. All right, let's unbox this bad boy right now.